uh, we, we read from one uh, written question. The, the, the areas of uh, the past have caused a lot of suffering and are very difficult to liberate. My er the errors I've created in the past are uh, quite a heavy burden. How can I forgive myself for this pain that I've caused? And how to be sure that I have forgiven others? What can I do if I offer forgiveness and reconciliation again and again to others, but the other ones, other people don't respond positively and they keep the door closed? This is a very good question. Uh, first of all, we can learn. Everyone can learn from the from from their own mistakes uh, and skillfulness, and all of us are unskillful at times. Even the Buddha, as a teacher, he was unskillful at times, and he learned from his uh, unskillfulness. <laughs> so first of all, we we should uh, we should remember that we are a human being, and we can be unskillful at times. And then the, the practice of mindfulness can always uh, transform, even transform the past. You think that the past is already gone and you cannot do anything concerning the past. But that is not true. You can change the past. Because the past is still there in, uh, in the present. The wound of the past is still there in the present moment and you can touch it. Suppose uh, in the past you have said something unkind to your grandma. And now you regret. And your grandma is no longer there for you to say sorry. And you have that complex of guilt following you all the time. But according to this practice, you can do something. You breathe in and out mindfully, and you recognize that your grandma is still alive in every cell of your body. You continue your grandma. That is the truth. The genes of your grandma are in you. Your grandma has not really died. She continues in you. So ha having seen your grandma in, in you, you begin to say, Grandma, I'm sorry. I was not skillful. I promise you that from now on, I will never say something like, like that again. And if you are sincere, mindful, determined. And then you can see your grandma in you smiling and you are healed. You are healed. So you can transform the past. You make an aspiration, a strong aspiration that from now on you will not say things like that anymore. You will not do things like that anymore. And that is a powerful energy that can transform even the past. And you feel lighter, lighter.
during the Vietnam War, there was an American soldier who killed five children in Vietnam. His uh, unit was uh, destroyed by the guerrillas, so he was very angry. And he came back to that village looking the way to retaliate. So he brought with him a bag of sandwich. And he put explosive in a sandwich. And he left on the gate of the village. And he hid himself. And he saw five children coming out, coming out and enjoy eating the sandwiches. After that, the children showed the, the sign of sickness and they cried. They yelled and their mothers came out and tried to help. But the soldier knew that nothing can be done because the village is so far from a city. And he saw the five children dying in the arms of their mother. And the soldier survived the war and went back to America. And he could no longer sleep. Every time he found himself uh, with a few children in the same room, he could not stand it. He had to run out of the room. And he could not share the story with anyone until one day. We offer a retreat for war veterans in California. And he came. And after four days of practices, he got enough trust. And during the sharing, he told us the story, crying a lot. And I was in a group, and I promised to give him a consultation. And I told him, Daniel, you have killed five children. That is the truth. And you suffer. But now there are other children who are dying. In Africa, Asia, many countries, and even in America, children are dying. They are poor people. There are people, there are children who only need one tablet of medicine in order for their life to be saved. Thousands and thousands of children like that are, are dying over the world. And if you make the aspiration to go to them, and then every day you can save five children. You don't have to to lie down in the corner of the past and suffer like that. If in the past you have killed five, and today you can save five. And if you can save five today, five tomorrow, and then you can see the five you killed begin to smile in you, and you are healed. So he followed that instructions. And uh, I can saw the transformation and healing taking place right during the time he listened to the advice. Because during the time he listened to me, he made that vow. I will go out and try to save children. I am young enough to do the work. And that tremendous amount of energy given him by the aspiration begins to heal him right away. And after that, he practiced helping children in the world to survive. And uh, he was healed. He married a dentist in uh, England and led a normal life. And this is a real story. 
So the fact is that uh, you are you you can liberate yourself from the past, from the prison of the past. You can make a strong determination, strong aspiration to go and help. Help the people who are abused, help the people who are victims of uh, sexual abuse and so on. And then you can heal yourself. That is the power of aspiration. The fourth uh, nutriment we call volition. And if you have uh, transformation and healing in you, you become a pleasant person. You are full of compassion, understanding, and your your presence is a very, uh, very uh, fresh, very pleasant for other people. If you propose uh, to him or to her the practice of reconciliation, and if the other person refuses to do because you are not fresh enough, you ha have not healed yourself enough. You have to, to show yourself as someone who, who has uh, transformed, who has uh, healed himself or herself. And the healing in you will help uh, start the healing in the other person. And there are many ways. You can write him or her a letter of love. You can ask a friend uh, to talk to him or to her on your behalf. There are many ways to do it. And if you are already, you have already reconciled with yourself, renew yourself, become a new person, and then transforming him, reconciling with him, become much easier. If you find it still difficult to, to invite that, the other person to reconcile because you have not started the process of reconciliation from within, if you have, and then you have healed yourself, and then uh, it would be much easier to, to help uh, him to reconcile. Uh, with himself and with you.